Nice. Free supplies. Oh, dang it. I was hoping I could get to that one. Oh, well. Continuing on. I have to backtrack a little bit. I hate backtracking. I want to maximize my time going to all new places. Look, I got a defense drone mark one. They're pretty handy. I don't really like distress beacons as much as I like regular ones. Oh, hey, this is... Well, I won't say what this is, because I wanted this one to be pretty spoiler-free, other than I'm going to do some in-boss strategy stuff, but I'm going to mark that episode as spoiler. But I won't say what this stuff is, because I don't have the stuff. I don't have the right things to be able to start that quest line. Pretty interesting quest line, though. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a store as an option. Um, but I didn't go to it yet. Okay, so I can buy six fuel, and I'm down to 12, so this is a really good deal. You can get fuel really cheaply at this refueling station, so let's go ahead and do that. There's another store. I'm not going to go to it. I'm going to go down to this other one. <laughs> Sure, why not? <clears throat> Sounds like free scrap to me. <coughs> okay, now in this situation, there is a drone. It's a beam drone. Beam drones are less of a problem as attack drones. And the weapon is a missile, so we definitely want to prioritize the missile in this case. We're taking down the missile. Oh, jump. Okay, well, we missed. I should have dodged that, though. <coughs> it looks like it's not going to matter. See, now this, this beam jump can't do anything. It can't get through our shield, so... Uh, hilariously impotent. So we might as well just... target this stuff. It's just sad, really. No junk. Okay, so... Apparently, during this quest, it, I needed to <clears throat> keep let them live, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think that gives me more scrap. I might be wrong. Might give me a weapon. I don't know. But, yeah, I got a weapon here. No, not really a weapon I want. I'm going to go to the store here. Oh, hey. There's Ohm. Ohm Wrecker. <laughs> I'm guessing that's him, yeah. Okay, so there's advanced FTL navigation. That allows us to go back and visit any jump I've previously done. This can allow me to uh, more efficiently uh, explore a sector, but it's largely situational, and you don't really need it. I don't really need it. Once again, we have this drone recovery arm as an option. Um, I don't have many drones, so that might be a good idea. I also have two S-bombs, which I'm going to go ahead and sell, because I don't really need those. I think what I'm going to do in this situation is I'm going to top up my fuel up to four, just because I, I like having a good amount of fuel. Go ahead and pick up the Zoltan for an extra power. Now, it's more expensive than buying a power from my ship, like right here, but in-game... This Zoltan will allow me to get up to pass to this amount of power, the 25 that are on the ship, which is handy. I've already got, I'm going to be able to have a maximum of 27 as long as I can keep these guys alive, um, which will give me more options than what I do in the end game, which is very handy. And I'm going to leave him in engines. Um, it's like an extra power there, basically. And I also get an extra person. He's a little squishy, but he can do repairs and all sorts of other help. And I'm also going to go ahead and fix my ship. Um, I think I am going to pick up this. Let me check. I don't have any augmentations. I'm going to pick up this drone recovery arm. I'm probably going to pick up some drones here, and I'm probably going to have plenty of drones in the end game. I've never really had trouble with drones. But what this is going to allow me to do with this drone recovery arm is I'm going to be able to, once I get a drone uh, control, I'm going to just be able to send out um, 
that defense drone all I want and not really have to worry about missiles anymore, which is pretty handy, I must say. Oh, I wish I could make it to that other... I guess I could if I'd gone straight to the exit. I could have made it to that other store. I probably should have done that. Darn. Okay, so they sent a guy over to my base. Uh, there's not really a good way for me to asphyxiate this guy. Make him start suffocating out here. Um, there's a lot of decent amount of firepower here, so I'm going to take out this. Now, once he breaks through, what I'm going to do here, I'll show you. Okay, so he broke through. Um, let's see if I can get this working. No, that's not working. want my Zoltan tanking. Oh well. Looks like he is. Well, he left for some reason. Whatever. Oh, junk. Okay, that's something you gotta think about with Zoltans. <sighs> These guys are freaking crazy. Don't always want to do this. I'm gonna leave him in this area for the rest of this fight, because when they're going through the ship, they can depower a lot of stuff pretty annoyingly. And at not good times. It's not good. Oh, junk. Wait, I'm, this guy's trying to flee. Take it down. Okay. I think I can still do this. Forgot that this guy's trying to flee. No, dang it. Ah, see, in that situation, I should have targeted his piloting chair. I forgot about what I needed to be doing in that situation, and I paid the, I'm going to pay the price for it. See, I don't even really get to visit the end station, and I didn't need any strap for that fight, and... It's just not cool. It was just not a good fight for me. Now, because of this, I am going to, uh, I think, invest a little bit in my weaponry and other things so that I can now be wielding both of these items for the coming fights. Let me see. Howard Beam does two damage per room. Oh, wish I had enough for one more. Might actually be better to use the Artemis missile. Well, we'll try this. Let's go. This just sucked. This is me screwing up badly. Okay. So, what I'm going to show you here are some advanced tactics, what you can do. Okay, I don't need to worry about... I'm just going to take these. He disabled my whole shields, but he's still charging this laser. He's going to fire it right now. Quickly, I turn on this. And I'm going to dodge all those because since these guys have, you know, gotten up higher, I now have 100% evade once I... Cloak. Okay, so now I have both Burst Laser and Halberd Beam completely done. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fire your Burst Laser at something. Let's go ahead and just target this, his weaponry. Okay, shields are down. Two of my lasers just hit the shield. The shields are down at this point. There's another laser coming in. Hopefully he's not going to miss. Hopefully he's going to damage some things. But I've got a beam weapon up and ready. Up and ready to do plenty of damage to this ship. To carve it right up. Now, what you're going to want to do with a beam weapon is you're going to want to maximize where, how many rooms it hits, basically. Now, in this ship, you're not going to get very many. In this situation, the best you're going to hope for with this tight little beam here is four. I'm going to go ahead and go for uh, these four right here. Um, I'm going to want to get a little bit in that shield room, his engine room, and I'm going to want to hit um, just barely in the weapon room and then go up into the uh, repair. So there you go. That's how you use a beam weapon. Now, I could have done it when it just had one shield, and in fact, I'm going to be able to, and it'll do less damage, but it's still going to damage these systems, which is handy. Anyways, that is how you make use of a beam weapon and have a
it be super awesome. You're gonna, you, as long as it hits one pixel, it's gonna do another two damage to that room. So it's really great. And damage systems in that room. Very handy. Beam weapons are great. But yeah, that's some advanced tactics. You're gonna wanna take down the shields and then immediately laser in with that beam weapon. So we're continuing on to the NG controlled sector. NG space. Sticking the stress beacons. Yeah, I'll do that. There's plenty of missiles still to be found. I don't want to sell them all, but I'm not really using them right now, so I might as well do it for the scrap, even though it's not a very good scrap rate. <sighs> Excuse me. This is a energy fighter. Now, it might be worth it to take the bribe in this situation. This guy's got two shields, as well as the super shield. Pretty annoying. But you know me, I want the scrap, and I think I can take this guy. <laughs> I feel that way a lot when I, I, I probably shouldn't be able to take these guys. But I mean, I've got cloaking, I got pretty good, I got awesome weapons. So let's, let's be the hero, let's attack this guy. Let's take this guy down, so. Just start targeting. We gotta take down the energy shield first. It doesn't really matter where you attack. We just wanna deal as much damage as possible. Okay. So we took it down. Now it's got two shields up. So we're gonna do the same thing where we do a concentrated volley fire. And he really is not able to do much to us just because we have such high dodge evade right now. Okay, so I can do it right now. Well, I could have done it right then and started firing the weapons even before the halberd beam was ready to go because the because the burst laser takes a little while to get there while the halberd beam is there instantly. This doesn't really make sense to me because these are both laser weapons. I don't know. I guess this is a... I, I, don't, I, <laughs> I don't know how they entirely justify that. I guess they're different... Um, wavelengths so <laughs> but they're all traveling at the speed of light they're both light whatever not everything in this game makes absolute sense we're not gonna worry about it i think yeah whatever <laughs> let's just do this um so we're gonna attack shields again now thing with the halberd beam is yeah you want to try to hit as many systems as possible but the other thing is is you want to make sure you hit the systems you want to hit so I want to hit the weapons I want to hit the shields those are the two important things I always want to hit in every one of these things now I probably want to hit the shields first because his shields aren't actually disabled yet they might be when this next laser comes but just to make sure I'm going to have it attack the laser, the, the shields first. And then I'm going to want it to travel through this one and then to the piloting and hopefully hit the weapons right there because we want those weapons down. Even though these weapons aren't too big of a deal. I still want to damage them. Okay, so he's offering a bigger bribe. I'm going to reject that and continue owning his soul. And look at that. Nice little damage right there. Completely owning his face. There's not really much he can do. Okay, so we get a bunch more scrap, and we get to continue on. Awesome. Yeah, so now that we've got a laser and a beam weapon, we're doing pretty good. And we're picking up some nice drones. So once we do get a drone control, we are going to be pretty well set. It's going to be good. Now, I have an ulterior motive here by not going to these distress beacons. I'm not entirely certain but I don't think the stuff I'm looking for for the secret cruiser is found at these distress beacons. I'm pretty sure. I may be wrong. I may want to do some research here, but the secret race is, I'm pretty sure, not in these distress beacons. That's been one of the reasons why I've been kind of avoiding them. In your playthroughs, if you're not going for, you're, you don't want to be going for this at first. I really don't have much else 
to be going for in a run except for that. But in your run, you're probably going to want to go to these Distress Beacons because they're a pretty good source of scrap. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of skipping them. That's probably not right, and I'm probably missing something, but I don't know. I'll look it up after this run, and then I'll know for sure. I don't even want to head to the store, but I, I will. I'm going to go to this place first, though. I need to pick up. Okay, so we got an asteroid field. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Okay, I just took some damage for no gain, but that's okay. That's okay. We can deal with that. That's stuff we can deal with. Come to the store. Here we go. We got drone control, but we also got a heavy laser mark two. So this fires two shots, has a power of three. It's a little bit of an improvement over burst laser two. I, I still like burst laser two more than heavy laser two. This was three shots that each did two damage and had a power of four. I'd like this better, but it's not. So I'm not going to go ahead and get it. It's a pretty powerful weapon. It might be advantageous for you to get that, but I'm going to go for the drone control. I could also pick up the heavy laser. Let, let me take a look. So I've got a uh, weapon that requires two. I've got a weapon that requires three. So if I have both these in my end game, and this one requires one, that's a total of six power being used between these three and five between this. So without this one, I've got three power to play with, and with this one, I could have another weapon that costs two. So I might want the heavy laser, but I think I'm going to hold out, hold on to this scrap. There's another store. I'm not going to fix anything. I'm not going to pick up Crew Teleporter, even though that's like basically my favorite. Uh, I decided to play this run a little bit differently. I am going to pick up two of those for now, just to get me through a little bit here. I'm going to head up into this area. Check out a few more of these nodes that don't have anything. So he's got a missile and a laser. Not really too big of a deal. He doesn't really have much shields going on here. Okay, I don't know if you noticed there, but while I was shooting the laser, kind of annoyingly, I didn't really want this to happen, I hit the asteroid that was coming in. Now this can happen. You can hit missiles that are coming towards you with your lasers it's I, I guess it just needs to be in the exact right spot but it happens occasionally and it can be nice when you get lucky and pulled off but definitely not something that always happens so yeah we're gonna go ahead and try to hit a few rooms here I didn't I could have done more damage if this sh if the shield had been down but it's okay nope just kill him let's take the scrap oh there's another store wow look at all these stores Yes, we want that. More fuel. More fuel is good. Aid the civilian ship. Ah, <sighs> man, these ships are not that big a deal. Okay, well, that's kind of a big deal. Chunk. Now, the problem in this situation is if I take down all the... I'm going to go ahead and take down... Uh, okay. The reason why I'm hesitant in taking these down is these guys are probably going to be able to take out this control before I can fill this up with, uh, release the oxygen from this area. And they're going to be able to take that out. And to get the oxygen out of that area, I'm going to have to remove the oxygen from the med bay, my main defense against these guys. So in this situation... I really don't know if it's a good idea to do any of that. I'm just going to let them take out the drone, the door control for now. It's kind of sad, but I'm just going to have to do it. Man, this is not a good fight. So I just want to have one little pixel. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 
So in the meantime, have these two guys come over here. I know I'm depowering some stuff, but... These guys need to hurry up. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up! Repair, repair, repair. Okay. So, okay. I need to get these guys out of the shield room. Oof. Before I lose all my shields. There we go, okay. I think we're good here. We're fighting them in here. Meantime, let's just get repairing things. That was pretty annoying. Okay. Joel, get back on engines. Bjorn, get back on guns. Endress, get back in the pilot chair. Gumpo, you're in charge of shields. You are my extra engine guy. Get back in there. Okay. There we go. We're good. We're good. Let's go to this distress place. Um, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, well, we found it. Head to. I think we can get to that store after we go to this place. Come on, I really want to get to that store. Let's attack the ship. We got this. Oh wait, I forgot. I could be sending out my defense drone. I really don't. I don't need the cloaking because I get a free defense drone every time. Pretty nice. He'll be able to. Okay, well, he doesn't get it every time, and that was a really sucky one. Kind of pissed at you, Defense Drone. You kind of failed there. <laughs> it's it's a pretty good chance that the Defense Drone is going to shoot down the incoming missile. It's not 100%, and he can be distracted, and if he's looking the wrong way, it confuses him. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but sometimes they get through, and this was basically the worst one for it to get through, so... Yeah, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and just take down this loser. Jerk face. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, let's, okay, you get repairing this. I also want to get this anti-ship guy out here. So, I think I get a free one of those, too. And then we might as well, well, wait, wait, wait. Second, let me repair this and see if I can reach, if I can't reach the store, I'm going to improve my drone stuff. I know, I know I can reach the store. What I'm saying is, um, I can't reach it without having to fight people. Okay. We got some good stuff here. Really good stuff. So, what we've got here... Go ahead and sell this. We don't need the second one. We've got a weapon pre-igniter. Very handy item for early sectors like this it, it's good basically it's still good against the boss but it's a little less good against the box boss because the boss fight is a lot lo longer fights the weapon pre-igniter basically makes most ships a lot easier to defeat so i'm gonna go ahead and buy that scrap recovery arm this thing is going to be very helpful in 
gaining us lots more scrap than we normally all get. Long range scanners are pretty handy, um, but I think I'm gonna hold on to the drone recovery arm. Still got this heavy laser option, but I'm mostly out of money now, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix all. And I think we're good. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and also invest in some more, another power bar so that I can have my cloak up as an option at the same time as a drone or anti-ship. Okay, so now that we did that, we got made to that store, I'm glad we made it to that store. We need to start heading to the exit, we're gonna have to fight through a few things. But it's not that big a deal, cause we get a free drone in a fight, and we start the battle with both, because of the weapon pre-igniter and why it's so awesome, you start the battle with any weapons that you have equipped already fully charged, like I've got right here. This is really handy, especially for things like the Halberd Beam or the Glaive Beam or the Burst Laser 4, things that have long charges or like some of the higher level missiles. They have long charges. So, yeah. What I'm gonna do is, let's get down the blaze. Okay, so all this that all the shields are down right now. Also this attack ship sitting here. And I'm gonna halberd beam this guy. He's not gonna know what hit him. This is gonna be painful. It's not fun for him. Boom. Suck on that. Look at that. He's super damaged now. I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna take down his I'm gonna hit his shields hard so that now this guy can reach. And now my halberd beam is going to be able to cut through. I'm going to time it. See, I timed it with this anti-ship here. Since it's a point thing, it's going to start as soon as I unpause. Now that I've got this set, as soon as I unpause, this halberd beam starts going. Boom. Takes it down. I'm just going to be able to carve through things. And I, did, I didn't even lose that drone because of my drone control. I'm going to be able to have an anti-ship out there dealing extra damage every single fight. So I'm not going to go down any fuel as I go to the exit. So we're, we're doing pretty good. It's good. So I'm going to do this again. Hit the shields. Shields are down. Glaive beam. Man just hits hard. Okay. His shield is down. Take him down. No problem. Be able to keep doing that. Okay, so at this point... The only system we have not gotten is the teleporter, and that's all you really need for the achievement, that first achievement. So yeah, that's that's basically all you need. Uh, that's 75 more scrap, and you'd have the first achievement down. Now the other two, I'll show you how to do the other one, the um, the one where you repair from one damage. It's not that hard, but it can be a bit annoying, I guess. But the one where you have to get the right crew, that one's much harder. So I haven't gotten it yet, so good luck. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, this guy's only got two, so this will be even easier. He might have more dodge, though, for all I know. Let's target this. Okay. Can't dodge beam weapons. Dodge this. Boom. Beautiful. It's just sickening. <laughs> man. Oh, man. Man, a lot of NG sectors. I'm gonna keep going to the NG ones because there's something I'm looking for in these. <laughs> Not been able to find. That's okay though. Okay. <laughs> so 
So things are going pretty good. I'm getting some nice synergy in my ship. Lots of nice things. The weapon pre-igniter definitely helps. It's going to help me gain lots of scraps and be able to mine this, this sector pretty well. Okay, nice. Not too bad. I'm going to try some firebomb stuff, I think, in the final... Nice. Oh, see, look at this. This gives me information about the whole sector. That's very handy. Let's head to the store, even though I've only got 80. So I can pick up a crew teleporter. I can pick up this NG. Who have I got on my ship? Just a bunch of humans and Zoltans. Okay, so I'm not going to go for the whatever it's the achievement. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the crew teleporter. That would be my last item I need for all the systems and subsystems. I'm not going to put anything into it. Um, but yeah, now I've got it. So that's good. 